I think Harlem South <clears throat> wants to attack this team. They haven't given up any points in the last few games, and they want to be sure that they do it once again tonight. Porter hasn't put any points on the board, and they want to be sure that tonight's the night that they get some points on the board. I spoke with their coach. He said slowly but steadily the team has been coming along, and they think tonight might be one of those nights where they're able to unleash some stuff. Well, it is still early in the season, and so still a lot of football to be played. And, of course, Porter looking for that first win tonight against the Hawks, uh, who are undefeated. And they have only allowed one touchdown all season long. And that was early, early in the season. And so we have a, uh, a big opportunity here for either a team to score some points or for a team to continue to shut teams out. One of the big stories is Jaden Taylor is back tonight. What kind of impact does that have, Jonathan, for the Hawks? Well, he's one of those players. He's a game changer. We've seen him make plays last year and this year already. He's one of those special players. And let's see if he can make some special plays tonight. Well, Jaden Taylor, definitely, if he has space, he can go, and he does not stop. Uh, he is just a very powerful runner. And, of course, Porter, we're coming into this ball game here uh, out of Brownsville, and the, the Brownsville schools have struggled a little bit here early in the season. Uh, and so we have a, really, if you're looking at this district, you have four spots open for the playoffs, and so it is still wide open. Porter has a chance here to come and, and possibly shock some people and uh, hopefully put some points on the board and look to uh, take down Harlingen South. Yeah, Porter hasn't scored any points against a lot of teams and a lot of people have counted them out but coach Wilson said he made sure his team was prepared for today it is not an extra bye week he wants to be sure they come out ready to go tonight and the Harlem and South Hawks will be kicking off tonight to start this ball game the Porter Cowboys will be receiving and we have the ball falls off of the kicking tee here to start this game uh, so they'll reset that and get the kickoff here shortly Number seven back to return for the Porter Cowboys is going to be David Pacheco along with number 11, Oscar Rodriguez. And they will have a holder this time for uh, the kicker. Uh, the wind is a little bit stiff here at Bogus Stadium. Out of the south, southeast. And here we go. And the kick is up. And there's a good kick. And it's in and out of the hands of number seven, Pacheco. And it will roll out of the end zone for a touchback. And so the Porter Cowboys will have the ball out, I believe, at the 25-yard line. Yeah, right there, David Pacheco was not able to return it. He got his hand on the ball, but he wasn't able to bring it in. Rolls out of the back of the end zone. And here we go. Let's see if this Harden South defense can continue their domination that they've shown so far this season. Well, I tell you what, this defense is, is not a huge defense. You don't have really big defensive linemen. Um, you don't have big old brute linebackers, but they are quick. Uh, they move to the ball very well. And so they're looking to assert their dominance here. And so here we go. We're going to start this football game off uh, out of the shotgun formation. Go with the Porter Cowboys. He's going to hand off to his running back, running back number one, Angel Rodriguez. Oh, and it's a fumble on the play. And it is recovered by the Harlan and South Hawks. A fumble on the play. Number one, Angel Rodriguez puts the ball on the ground. Hawk ball. Well, right there we saw, you just mentioned it right before, we see the quickness as the running back takes it onto the outside. There are two Hawk defenders there, and number four puts his helmet right on the ball. Good, solid tackle there. And right there, we see Nick Garcia make the big play. He's a big playmaker. We see him make one on defense. Ball pops right out. Harlan South all over the ball. We said, you said there was a quick defense, but this defense also, everyone gets to the ball. So as soon as the ball was out, there were a ton of Hawk players there to recover it. Good call right there. And we ne mentioned Nick Garcia, number four for the Hawks, and he is all over the place. Now he lines up at receiver. As number five, Sean Montemayor is going to take the snap in the shotgun formation. Jaden Taylor is in the game. Montemayor dumps it off to Nick Garcia, who's got some space, and it will be touchdown, Hawks. First pass play of the game, and it is a touchdown from Sean Montemayor to his receiver, Nick Garcia. Very pretty play right there. We see the quarterback take the quick throw. Nice block on the outside. The corner comes in, giving the outside... And he should have come to the outside and forced him in, but he chooses to come in. Easy run in for a touchdown by Garcia. You see Garcia makes a big play on defense, and now he just makes a big play on offense. I think that's why they call him the utility player of the year last year. Totally agree. I, I hope you all listen to that. He forced a fumble. Next play goes and scores a touchdown. Huge play by Nick Garcia, number four. And I'm going to mention that only 15 seconds have ticked off of this clock in the first quarter, and we already have 6-0 to zero, the Hawks pending the extra point, and the kicker, Kicks it, it is up, waiting for the official, and it is good. So 7-0 to zero, with only 15 seconds elapsing in the first quarter. Harlingen Hawks strike first. 
Well, again, we just saw great plays by Nick Garcia, um, but the whole team there, you know, they've shown to be a really great team all throughout. Their defense hasn't allowed any points all season, or only allowed one touchdown all season long. No points the last three games. Uh, and right there, they're able to shut them down on the first play. Quick momentum shift into Harlem South. Porter needs to come out and make a statement, get at least a few first downs here, because it could end up being a long night for them if they don't change it right away. Totally agree. As I look on the Porter sideline right now, it also looks to me as they have fewer players in Harlem South. Looks like they're carrying a smaller varsity team, and so uh, perhaps some of these players will be going both ways tonight. Either way, Porter Cowboys are right back into a position that they were just 15 seconds ago, game time. Uh, as they're going to receive yet another kickoff from the Harlingen South Hawks. As the Hawks are up 7-0, 15 seconds elapsed in the first quarter. Waiting on the kickoff. Number 83 is handling the kicking duties at Jeff Guevara. And the kick is ooh, in the corner of the end zone. It will be another touchback, and the Porter Cowboys will come out to the 25-yard line. Familiar territory, uh, for they were just there and just coughed up a fumble uh, to start off the first drive. Let's see what they have in the second one. And we didn't get to see much out of the first drive. You know, they did one quick run to the right. He had to bounce it extra far out, trying to get around the defense. Defense was there, forced the fumble, so we could see what they do this time on offense. Hopefully, we get to see a little bit more out of the Porter Cowboys this time around. Well, it looks to me like they want to try to spread the ball around. They're going to run a lot of uh, uh, draws or uh, a lot of some option, maybe. Uh, that quarterback is lined up in that shotgun formation. Uh, trying to get a number here. It looks like he's number 18. Uh, Frank Alvarado, it seems to be the quarterback for the Porter Cowboys. And he's lined up with a running back in the backfield. Waiting for the snap. He will hand it off. Oh, it's a fumble again. Ball is on the ground. A fumble at the handoff. Waiting for the officials. There's a small pile. And it is still Porter Cowboy football. But that was close, Jonathan. Yeah, that was really close. Bad exchange right there. The ball was loose for quite a while. Um, the quarterback was able to get his hands on the ball. Here we see it. Hands off to the running back, tries to pull it, but then the running back seemed to take too much hands on it. Here we see the ball flapping around between players' legs, and then finally the quarterback gets his way on the ball. Here we go, another handoff to the running back, and this time nowhere to run. Uh, and there was a second and 15, and it looks like they will not gain any yardage on that play. Uh, tell you what, the, the first handoff in the first series, fumble. Second hand, uh, first handoff in the second series, fumble. Uh, not starting off here well for the Porter Cowboys. They're going to go quickly again here. Third down, 15, 14 yards to go. Alvarado, shotgun, looking to his right, wants his receiver. He's got number 12 coming to the middle, but the ball goes to the outside. As 12 came inside, ball went outside. Incomplete pass can bring up a fourth down. Yeah, right there we see them try to attack one-on-one -on -one against Garcia. Um, unfortunately, the ball was a little too far. Looked like there was a little bit of miscommunication yeah. on the route. Um, it seemed like to be a good read. You, you want to attack the guy one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, Garcia is an explosive guy. And he is good at catching the ball, so I'm sure Harlan South doesn't mind that matchup all that much. <laughs> and uh, South, and here we have Garcia returning the punt now. Garcia is going to be back to return this punt. Uh, the punter's lining up about the eight-yard line uh, of the Porter Cowboys here, awaiting the punt, the snap. The snap is good. The punt is up. Good punt. And Nick Garcia is going to return this from the 50, the 45. He breaks up to the 30-yard line, tries to cut it back inside, and he will be just, he just steps out of bounds about the 29-yard line of the Porter Cowboys. And so now the Harlingen South Hawks have about 29 yards to work with, and we're going to punch another one in. Now right there we saw very nice kick by Porter right here. He had to return, punch back. But then uh, there wasn't much there, and then he got a monster block by one of his teammates. <clears throat> and then we see his quickness and speed as he gets up the field and before number 68 for Porter that is Orlando Garza makes the tackle Sean Montemayor getting ready to take the snap here Jaden Taylor number seven uh, is his running back he has three receivers two right one left calling out a play at the line here Jaden Taylor pointing out a block that he's gonna have to make oh he's gonna take it this time Jaden Taylor bounces right he's got some space to the 25 to the 20 Jukes to the outside. He's got the first down, and he's going to fall down right about an 11-yard gain. Jaden Taylor scraping it off the right-hand side of the field there. First down, Hawks. Yeah, right there, we saw some nice interior blocking by the offensive line for Harlem South. The defense for Porter, they were all stacked up inside. So once Taylor saw, he got the initial push by the offensive line, he broke it to the outside right away where there was a lot of open space. He gets tackled finally by the corner and the safety together. Now, Jaden Taylor did not play last week. 
but he is back tonight and looking to continue to add to uh, his good start so far in this 2013 season. Here we go, and he'll get the handoff again. He cuts it to the outside. He's got some space to run down to the five. This will be a touchdown, but hold that for a second as we do have a flag on the field. And so we're going to wait to see if this touchdown will stand, but Jaden Taylor scampering in an 18-yard touchdown. He only had one defender to beat initially in the hole. He makes the cut, and the defender misses, and then he was just off to the races as he had some good blocking initially, and no one was able to catch him because of the initial blocks. And that was a defensive penalty, and that is waved off, and so therefore Jaden Taylor gets an 18-yard touchdown run to make the score 13-0 to zero, uh, here with 9.56 left to go in the first quarter as the Hawks strike again uh, after two big defensive stops. Uh, the Hawks have had short fields to work with, punch it in twice. So now waiting for the extra point. Uh, number 19 for the Hawks getting ready to kick this, and the kick is up. And the officials nod yes. And number 19, Jonathan Gutierrez punches it in for the extra point. 14 to 0 on just under 10 minutes left to go in the first quarter. Harlingen Hawks lead. Well, I said it before the game. Coach Wilson did not want to come out today flat. He wanted to be sure that his team was ready to go. And they've shown it tonight. It's 14 0, 956 left in the first quarter. They've come out and punched Porter in the mouth. And we've got to see how Porter responds now. Will they be able to come out and do something this time on offense well the Hawks won 14 to 0 last week uh, against a fellow Brownsville school there and uh, and that was 14 points in the game and we're looking here in uh, just over two minutes to play in this game and the Hawks are already up 14 to 0 uh, just want to recap for you all listening live right now valleycentral.com uh, then the first series Porter comes out fumbles it on the first play Hawks go ahead with the touchdown to Nick Garcia second series out uh, four and outs for the Porter Cowboys. Great return by Nick Garcia. And then an 18-yard scamper uh, by Jaden Taylor to make it 14-0 Hawks uh, leaving the Porter Cowboys. And we're getting ready for the kickoff. The third kickoff under three minutes here in, the, in this ballgame. The kick is good, and it's going to uh, fall down about the six-yard line. It will be picked up this time by the Porter Cowboys number seven. That is David Pacheco. Uh, but he will run into a bunch of defenders there for the Harlingen and South Hawks uh, and will fall down short about the 15-16 yard line. And here, Harlingen South's defense is coming out onto the field. They have shown to be very strong so far. Each time the Harlingen South offense has gotten the ball, they've gotten it inside of the 30-yard line, almost in the red zone each time. And that's because of the great play by this Harlingen South defense here tonight. Yeah, the defense has been stout early, and we expected that, Jonathan. Uh, they have been looking really good this season. They look just very really well-oiled, I would say, um, as they have not made any mistakes in the first two series. Here we go. Quarterback's going to take this number 18. He's going to hand off to his running back. He's got some space to run this time. He's actually going to fall forward with a good yardage there. Let's call it a gain of eight as the running back for Porter. That's number 11, James Gottapio, uh, gets eight on the play. And on that one, we saw this. It was a simple replay that we see a lot of teams doing these days. And he handed it off to the running back. The running back made the cut and made the play. Here we have, there was some miscommunication right here. We see the quarterback has to take it for trying to run with it. He thought running back was going right. Running back went left. Unfortunately for him, he gets tackled by a couple of south defenders, losing about four yards. Yeah, and that's Frank Alvarado, quarterback number 18. Have him listed here as a sophomore, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So he's a, a young quarterback for the Sporter Cowboys offense here. It's going to bring up the third down. Eight yards to go now as they had a good gain on that first run. Have been pushed back now. And so now Alvarado will take the snap. Oh, and looks like we're going to have an offside call on the defense. Free play, basically. And uh, he lets this one fly, but it is nowhere close to his receiver, number 12 intended receiver, Ernesto Martinez. It seems like when uh, he's thought that there was going to be a free play, he's attacked that same receiver versus Nick Garcia. I imagine he must feel he has a, a good matchup there. Um, but he hasn't been able to get it. He overthrows both of those passes, but it was a free play for him. So a lot of times you see quarterbacks want to just take the, the shot, see if you can get something out of it. Um, they're only going to get five yards because of the penalty. And that will bring up a third and three. We're just under nine minutes now in the first quarter. 14-0, the Hawks lead. And as number 18, Frank Alvarado gets ready to take the snap. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers, one running back with him. We have a jump again, but this time they do not snap the ball. Play clock at 9, 8, 7, running down. Calling for the snap, and he gets it. He will 
fakes the handoff, looking right, pressure, spins away, but not from the second and third defender, and he is taken down for a big loss uh, as it will bring up a fourth down, and Alvarado goes down hard as he is tackled by two Harlan and South defenders. Double sack, if you will. Yeah, right there, he's, we see him, he rolls right. There's some initial blocking, but right away we see the South defenders there on top of him. He breaks one tackle, but is quickly met by two others and gets put down pretty hard right there, and so they're going to have to punt it again. And it looks like David Pacheco, number seven, will be handling the punting duties. Oh, high snap. He fumbles it, breaks one tackle. Oh, and he'll be taken down at the five-yard line of the Porter Cowboys. And, uh-oh, the Hawks have five yards to work with if they're going to punch in yet a third touchdown early in this game. Yeah, they, it seems like um, the defense, like we said before, strong defense. They've been putting the special teams in the offense or the – their offense in really good positions. That time, the snap's high. Harden South takes advantage, tackles him on the five-yard line. Let's see if Porter's able to keep him out of the touchdown, kind of try to stop the bleeding a little bit here. For those of y'all listening live, 14 to 0, 8 minutes and 2 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And Harlan and South now, after a fumbled uh, punt there, or a botched punt, I should say, now have the ball at the, oh, about the 9-yard line, looks like. Uh, and Sean Montemel is going to go to work. Hands it off to Jaden Taylor. Oh, he's going to bulldoze his way in. Touchdown, Hawks. As Jaden Taylor puts his head down and just runs over the defender. Not even close. Touchdown, Hawks. Third score of the game. Here we see a couple of double teams up the middle right there, and then there's only one guy that Jaden Taylor has to muscle through. He takes his way through the safety. Gets touched. He gets touched not really until he gets to the goal line, and him running full speed against the standing still defender. He lowers his head and just powers through. We've seen him power through lots of guys. A safety one-on-one -on -one right on the goal line. That's not a very good matchup for the defense. And Taylor takes advantage, gets himself another touchdown. Second touchdown of the night for Jaden Taylor. And the field goal, extra point, I should say, is going to be good. And so now we have a 21-0 ball game as Jaden Taylor, again, just uh, coming off of that bulldozing run, if you will. I mean, that, that was some, some strong running there. Uh, one person to beat just ran right over him. So uh, touchdown for Taylor, second touchdown of the night. And so, uh, folks, right now we're at the, the 7 minute and 57 seconds left to go in the first quarter mark. Uh, just over four minutes of football have been played, and we have 21-0, the Harlan and South Hawks lead. What, what needs to happen here, Jonathan, so that Porter can somehow – uh, like you said, stop the bleeding. Well, they need to maintain positive plays. We saw them make one positive play earlier. It was second and short. We thought they were going to start getting the first down. But a couple of mistakes, they lose the positive forward momentum by the offense. You have to keep positive play after positive play against a really great defense like Harlan South. I think that's an excellent observation. They get a positive play and they lose it right back with uh, a sack. They had a, a, a tackle for loss. Then they get it back a little bit with a five-yard penalty, but then they lose it on a big sack again. So uh, it seems like every positive that was uh, gained by the Porter Cowboys last ser series was pushed back either by a negative uh, tackle for negative yards or a penalty. Here we go. Another kickoff here to the Porter Cowboys, and this time it will be fielded up and through the legs of the returner. And that's number 11, Oscar Rodriguez. He'll bring it out, but he's going to fall forward. And uh, maybe he should have just downed that in the end zone because he's going to bring it out to the six-yard line. Yeah, right there, he's going to be out to the six-yard line. For them to put a touchdown on the board, they'd have to go 94 yards against this great Harlem South defense. That's going to be really hard for them to do. Um, but they've been having a fast tempo tonight. Let's see if they can use that fast tempo to keep a base defense in front of them by the Harden South because Harden South looks a little bit confused. They have been rushing a little bit, trying to line up. Let's see if um, Porter can take advantage this time and keep, the, like we said before, those positive plays coming instead of having one positive, one negative. Just keep the positive plays rolling. Well, Frank Alvarado, number 18, who was sacked the last time out, bringing up that fourth down punt, is back on the field now. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, he is lined up right on his goal line in shotgun formation. And so he'll take the snap. It's a good snap. And the running back number 11, that's going to be Oscar Rodriguez, I'm sorry, uh, is going to fall forward just for, oh, it looks like it'll be a short loss on the play, bringing up second down and about 11. Yeah, right there, the quarterback's reading the play. He hands the ball off. He felt the read was the give, but uh, number three right there, Jacob Villarreal, he's a senior for Harlem South. 
he gets a lot of pressure and makes the, the runner cut right away. And, and here goes number 11 again. Oh, he's going to be tackled right on that goal line. And I, I would think they're going to try not to call it a safety if at all possible. And sure enough, they're going to give him a generous spot. And I'm going to call that on the three-inch line, Jonathan. That was scary right there. Yeah, that was scary. Um, he did have an initial pop, so I think they gave him the forward, forward progression. Part. But um, he got tackled. The ball looked like it was right on the line. So um, had they not called the initial progression, it probably would have been a safety there. Yeah, we're going to call that a good spot there. And uh, now the quarterback lines up. He is in the end zone. In shotgun formation once again. Hands it off. And this time it looks like this will be. And waiting for the confirmation. Yes, it will be a safety as the running back is tackled in the end zone. Uh, about a yard short from coming out of the end zone. Oscar Rodriguez is tackled. Safety, Hawks. Yeah, right there we didn't see. We talked about gaining positive plays. Right there, there were no positive plays for Porter. Each and every time we here we see on this final play, penetration by the South defense. They played really aggressive. You know these players, I'm sure they were looking for a, a safety. It's, it's not very often that you get an opportunity to try to get a safety. So these players were ready to go and punch into those gaps and he gets tackled by a gang of players right there but we saw on that drive each and every time that Porter had a running play called penetration caused the runner to either cut early or they got their hands on the runner penetration stopped that drive before it could even get started well that just to call out a couple of names there as we're watching the replay I picked up uh, let's give some credit here to number three Jacob Yarial. And uh, number 35 also on that safety was Brandon Rodriguez. And both of them were the two initial tacklers uh, stopping that running back in the end zone there, bringing up that safety. So uh, good play there by number three and number 35. Uh, as it now the score is 23 to 0. Uh, and, ladies and gentlemen, the Hawks will get the ball back. And so uh, um, the Porter Cowboys have actually have an opportunity here to give the Hawks the longest field position uh, of, the night. of the night here if they can stop uh, – Nick Garcia's back to return this so they can stop him before crossing that half field mark. Yeah, the Porter defense hasn't really been given an opportunity to really give a good shot at making a stop. Each time that they've given the ball up to the South offense, it's been in the 30, on the 20, and then five, even I mean, on the five yeah, yard eight, line. Like that. Very short fields to work with. I don't care what kind of defense you have, it's yes. you're, you're not in a good position once it gets to that point. And we just want to mention, uh, this is homecoming night for Arlington South, so lots of uh, alumni here in the stands tonight, lots of mums and ribbons everywhere. Here we go, the kickoff uh, by Porter. It's going to be a short one, uh, and this will be fielded at the Hawks' 40-yard line. And now uh, he's going to break it out past the 50, and he's going to be tackled at the 45-yard line of the Porter Cowboys. That's going to be number 18, Steven Rodriguez, for the Arlington South Hawks. Uh, and once again, they'll have a, uh, the, the ball within the 50-yard line for the Arlington South Hawks. That's right here. It's on the 45-yard line. But so far for this Porter defense, that's the best position they've yes. been on the field. That's so, right. um, you know, they're they're happy. I'm sure that they're not at the 30, but they've got to be a little upset. The special teams right there that they didn't keep it into the Harlan South side. They already have the ball into the Porter side. Well, here we go at the 45-yard line, and Sean Montemayor is going to take over uh, along with Jaden Taylor. He's got his uh, traditional three-receiver set. Uh, calling out the defense here from the line. And he's going to look left. Pump fake. Oh, he's going downfield. He's got a receiver, number 24, wide open. And he will catch this, bring it in, and fall down. And about the 8-yard line, that is Grant Preciado with a big hit there on the uh, pass from Montemayor to Preciado. Well, here we see they did give the short pass away to him. So he gives a really strong fake. I think the fake was what really sold it. He threw his whole body into the fake. And, again, he was open, so the defense reacted right away. R receiver comes on the outside. Easy catch. Long, big play. Yeah, and I tell you what, if the receiver hadn't fallen, that would have been a touchdown because uh, he, 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 he had about three steps ahead of that cornerback. Here we go. Sean Montemoyer, he's going to hand it off to Jaden Taylor. The guys are about the 10-yard line, and Jaden Taylor's going to power his way in for yet another Arlington South Hawk touchdown. Jaden Taylor, third touchdown of the night. Yeah, we see he breaks one tackle right away in the hole. And then there's not really anyone to meet him until he's crossing the goal line. Some defenders meet him at the goal line, but he's already running full speed. Again, we talk about him. He's fast, but one of the great things about him is he's also a power back, and he just powers through the last two defenders that met him right at the goal line. Easy touchdown for Taylor. 
another six points on the board for Harvard and South. 29-0, to zero, just under six minutes to go in the first quarter. Uh, just a half played, uh, uh, the half first half of the first quarter, and uh, we have 29-0 waiting for the extra point here. Being kicked by number 19, Jonathan Gutierrez. And the kick is up, and it is good. So, folks, we have a 30-0 to zero ball game. Right under six minutes to go in the first quarter as Harlingen South is powering through uh, this Porter Cowboys football team here at Bogus Stadium on this homecoming night for the Harlingen South Hawks. And Coach Wilson's going to have to keep his team geared up and ready to go. It's a 30-0 game, but it's so early in the game. There's only there's still six minutes left in the first quarter. There's a ton of football left to play tonight. Coach Wilson's going to have to keep his team focused. In games like this, it's really easy to think, oh, the game's put away because you're up 30-0. He's going to have to keep his defense going. Um, but it looks like this defense, they're not ready to stop. They want to be sure that they maintain. They've, they've shut everybody out the last few games, and they want to continue to do so. A lot of times it's almost like a sense of pride. You know, it's, it's a really exciting thing for a defense to shut a team out. And I'm sure they're going to try to do that all tonight. Well, it is their goal. I guarantee you it is their goal to pitch another shutout. And so that defense, uh, to them, success is not allowing the other team to score. Uh, and so I guarantee you they are gunning for that once again. And here we go. Yet another kickoff by the Harlingen South Hawks here. And the kickoff is a uh, good kick. Nice kick all the way to the four-yard line. It's going to be brought up by number seven for the Porter Cowboys. And he's going to be gang-tackled at about the nine-yard line. Going to give him forward progress to the nine as uh, – uh, number nine, Jesus Rivera, uh, brought that out with not much space to run. Yeah, right there we saw number 14, Zach Galindo. He comes running down the middle. Here we see number seven catch the return, runs up the middle, and he's quickly met by the defender than a lot more defenders. Yeah, that was just a, a gang tackle there by the Harlem South Hawks. And once again, the, the Porter... Cowboys here are going to have uh, their backs backed up against their own end zone as the ball rests on the nine yard line. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the 14. My, my eyesight must be going. 14 yard line, uh, wrong, wrong yard line there. Uh, 14, and, uh, and they'll have a lot of field to work with here again. Number 18, Frank Alvarado comes out, uh, get ready to take the snap in the shotgun formation. Two receivers this time. He'll hand it off to his running back, and his running back is met quickly in the backfield. That will be a loss of yardage. Uh, yet again for the Porter running back. Number 18, Frank Alvarado. There again, we saw in the last drive, penetration was stopping this Porter offense. And here we see it again, a lot of penetration by Harlan South, and it stops the runner once again. Nowhere to run for Alvarado. Second down, 11 to go. Handed off again to Alvarado. This time he tries to break a couple tackles, and he'll fall forward for a gain of two yards. Uh, we'll bring up a third down and nine yards to go. Right there, it looked like he had some space, but an arm tackle by Harlan South. It was an arm tackle, but it was kind of almost a little bit of shoulder in it, too, so he wasn't going to escape right there. Um, but he almost had an opportunity to break one right there and gain a, their first first down of the night. Third down, about eight to go. Getting an audible from the sideline. Fifteen seconds left to go on the play clock. And Alvarado gets ready to take this. And he's going to fake it, and he tries to dump it to his tight end, but that was almost a big mistake as the linebacker almost came down with that pass. And let's see where they end up getting the ball. Harlan South's defense has left them in really great field position. I just did the numbers right now. The average field position for Harlan South tonight, they put up four touchdowns or they put up a ton of points, four touchdowns tonight, and the average field position for them has been at the 25-yard line going in. So they, they've almost started every drive in the red zone. Yeah, I think they like their odds on that one whenever you're getting the ball. And this will be actually, just talking about the red zone, the average, this will be their longest field that they're going to have tonight because the punt goes all the way to the Harlan South Hawk 41-yard line, 42-yard line. Uh, and so the Hawks will have their longest field position uh, of the night here with four minutes and 18 seconds left to go in the first quarter. It is 30 to 0. The South Hawks lead the Porter Cowboys. Well, we talk a, a lot about offensive players with Harlem South, you know, Taylor, Montemode, they have a Garcia, they have a lot of players that make big plays on offense. But tonight, I have to say, you got to give 
the game ball so far to that Harlem South defense because the offense has almost had to do hardly anything to put the points on the board because of the great defense. Well, I am sure we don't have the stats in front of us, but I think up to this point the Porter Cowboys have put up single digits on offense. That defense has been stout. Here we go. Monte is going to take this snap shotgun formation. Oh, and it's out of his hands. The ball is on the ground. He picks it up uh, and drops it again, but it looks like they're going to go ahead and rule him down on that one. Uh, but he will lose a good chunk of yardage here. We're looking at about 13, 14 yards possibly lost on that one. Yeah, it looks like it may be even a little bit more, 15 yards. Here we see the snap. He goes in, and as he's doing the fake, he loses it. And he is able to maintain the ball. We see in the replay, good call by the referees. The ball was down, but a huge loss for them. And we may see Porter finally stop this hard and soft offense. Second down, 24 to go now on their own 28-yard line for sure. The furthest back they have been. Hands off to Jaden Taylor. He's got some space to the outside. Breaks a tackle. 40 into the 35. 45 to the 50, I'm sorry. And he's going to have a <laughs> first down, ladies and gentlemen, as Jaden Taylor scampers for over 28 yards uh, um, to, to get that f big first down there. Uh, got the first down and a few more, a few more yards after. All right there, we saw some really pretty blocking, but all the exterior offensive players, they blocked the whole edge for him. He's running it in and then breaks it out. He makes a nice little cut, but there was some really great blocking by all of those receivers on the edge. Sean Montemo now first down, 10 yards to go there inside the Porter Cowboy 50-yard uh, line here. Hands it off to Jaden Taylor. Jaden Taylor goes forward, and uh, he has met pretty quickly. A flag on the play. If I had to guess, I'm going to say that that may have been a face mask there as uh, Jaden Taylor's helmet... Uh, almost came off. Uh, either way, a gain of two yards for Jaden Taylor. I was about to say the same thing, Aaron. I saw his helmet move a, a little bit, and the referees are discussing it. And that is a face mask. And that will be a big penalty, 15 more yards added to the play. Um, they did meet him right away. It was only going to be a short gain, um, but, of course, sometimes you accidentally get your hand in there, and that time the referees were able to see it. It was on the inside there. Sometimes you can get away with it, but not this time. And Harden South will get those extra 15 yards. So they will march it down now to the 30-yard line of the Porter Cowboys. And just like that, they go from one end to the other end and have a first down, 10 yards to go. And Sean Montemoto gets ready to receive the snap shotgun formation. Jaden Taylor, the lone back in the backfield, he will get the handoff. He's got a, a small gap there, but it closes up quickly. And uh, he's met, it looks like, pretty much all the Porter Cowboy defense. Uh, is a, just a standstill there. He'll gain uh, maybe two on the play. It hasn't seemed like they've had an answer for the running game of the Hawks, but that time they do a pretty good effort right there, only allow for a one-and-a-half yard gain right there. Second down, eight yards to go. We're now at two minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the first quarter, and it is still 30-0. to zero. Here we go, Sean Montemayor, along with Jaden Taylor. He's looking downfield this time. He wants Nick Garcia. And he will find Nick Garcia for a touchdown. Harlingen South Hawks. Montemayor knew exactly where he wanted to go with that pass, and he connected with his favorite receiver, number four, Nick Garcia, for yet another touchdown. Here we see he catches it, and just like you say, he knew where he wanted to go. He looks right at Garcia, delivers the ball. It was a pretty tight window. There were two defenders near there, but he gets it just a little bit past the defenders where Garcia's right behind, extends his arms, catches the ball, slides right in. Great throw, great route. They knew where they wanted to attack, and Montemayor executed it perfectly. And Nick Garcia was double covered on that one, but he was just able to get right past those defenders. And, and I, watch this replay later on if you want to see a very accurate pass because that ball was right where it needed to be. Montemayor just laid it right over the defenders into Nick Garcia's hands. Touchdown, Hawks. Waiting for the extra point here. And the kick is up. And it is good. So now we're going to have a 37-0 ball game. With two minutes and two seconds left to go in the first quarter, 37-0 Hawks lead. Aaron, we need to see the Porter offense move the ball. The Porter offense has been really hurting the defense, not giving them, you know, it's an up-tempo offense. They're moving and moving. This defense has had to play a lot, and the Harden South offense is grinding it. They're running the ball, and they're punching them right in the mouth. And so these long, these short returns, the short field position with the strong hard and south offense that's coming right at you. The defense has got to start getting pretty tired. And so with 37 points, this is against a fresh defense. But yeah. pretty soon, this defense is going to start getting really tired. They need this offense to start moving the ball some. 
Well, 37 to 0. Uh, you know, two weeks ago we had Harlan South here on this field, and uh, they were playing at another Brownsville school at that time, and uh, they put up 40 points in the first half, and that was a game that got rained out. Uh, they went in and called the game final at halftime, 40-0 in the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 37-0, and we still have two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Here we go. The Southhawks are going to kick this one off, and it will be returned up to the 20, to the 25, and he will be tackled at the 25-yard line. That's David Pacheco, number seven, on the return. Well, this will be the best field position that the Porter Cowboys have had all night. You know, they've had multiple returns, landing them inside the 10-yard line. I think the coaches, Coach Comp is going to be pretty happy that, you know, they're at least at the 26-yard line on this one, 27-yard line, and see if they can actually get the ball moving. We still haven't seen a first down, I don't think, from the Porter Cowboys. Let's see if on this drive they're finally able to get it. They've gotten close a few times to getting a first down, but the Harden and South defense has responded each time and stopped them. Well, and I tell you what, what's really interesting here is that uh, it, it just seems that it just seems that the Porter Cowboys have been running the same thing. They've been very predictable. Shotgun formation, usually it's a handoff to the running back. And there it is again right here. Handoff to the running back, number 18. Uh, he's going to get a few yards this time, actually about six yards on the play. But I, I was just about to call it. I said, shotgun formation, quick handoff to the running back. They went right back to that. This time they do get about five yards of the game. Now they haven't really had a lot of positive plays. Here we see it again. Um, nice little run play. It is predictable, but that time they were able to get a play out of it. So let's see what they respond with. We haven't seen them make two positive plays in a row. Second down. They're going to call it three left to go. One minute and 20 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Going to hand it off again to the running back. And he's going to get hit. He falls forward, and this very well could be the first first down of the night for the Porter Cowboys. Well, just like you said before, it, it, it is looking predictable. But so far on this drive... It is being successful, so they're going to continue to to follow what's working on this drive and got them their first first down of the night. Let's see if they continue to, to make it some more first downs. And here we go. Frank Alvarado, the quarterback. And they kind of do that thing where they set, and then they look back over to the sideline to get another play. And so they'll call an audible here, and he's going to hand it off again to his running back, number 20 this time. He cuts it to the outside. That is going to be number 20. I, I apologize. We do not have a number or a name for the number 20 on our roster here. Uh, as he has uh, come in uh, here at this part of the last end of the first quarter. And uh, this time he'll gain about a yard. Yeah, right there we saw it looked like there was some decent blocking inside, but he did see a lot of open grass on the outside, uh, but he did not account for the speed of Harlan South and they get there. And the play comes in from the sideline now in 18. Frank Alvarado waiting the snap here. He'll hand it off again to number 20. Number 20 bounces it to the right-hand side. He falls forward to the 40. And he's tackled hard right there. Let's call it a gain of two yards on the play, which should bring up a third down and seven, and that will be the last play of this very long first quarter for the Porter Cowboys. As this has been a very long first quarter for them, I think they're glad to see that this quarter has ended. They want to move on to the second quarter and see what they can do. A lot of times some coaches make some changes at halftime, but Coach Gompels needs to make some changes right now. They got their first down. But they're, now they're facing a third and long. Let's see if they can get their second first down of the night and see if they can get a drive going because it has been very long for them. There's 37 points up on the board for Harlem South. And this South defense looks hungry, and they want to continue to make those stops and keep them from putting any points on the board. Well, folks, it has been a 35-minute first quarter, and that's a long first quarter. Um, but the reason it's been long is because of all the scoring and the transitions that happen. You know, you score, you have to get everybody collected, get down for special teams, kick off, uh, lots of stoppage going on. And so because of the score uh, at, at, at where it's at, 37 points in the first quarter, we've had a very slow-moving first quarter. Uh, but now we start the second, and uh, Alvarado is going to get ready to take this snap here. Third down, seven yards to go. Fresh quarter to play here. He's looking left. He wants to pass this football, and he does. He dumps it off to number 44, Jonathan Howard. Uh, but Jonathan Howard is met quickly, uh, and he's tackled hard, and that will bring up a fourth down. Well, now we see it's a nice throw. Here we see him. He catches the ball. It's a nice throw, nice catch. But he's throwing to a receiver that's not even far down the line. This hard and south defense is too quick, and they all come to the ball. Even if he did break a tackle, he's going to be quickly met by other South defenders. Um, I'd like to see him take a better shot farther down the field on that, knowing that it is third and long. 
Exactly. Good point, Jonathan. Here we go. We have a punt here. Last punt was a bad snap and uh, ended up being a turnover. This time the snap is good. The punt is up. Good punt here. And Nick Garcia will return this one at the 14-yard line. He's got a good block on the outside. Gets up to the 30 now. Uh, he's trying to shake a, a defender, but will come down at the 31-yard line. Uh, and now the Holland and South Hawks will have about 69 yards to work with here uh, as they start their first drive of the second quarter. Well, right there we saw some nice special team blocking right there on both teams. The nice, uh, the punt went off nice, long punt, and then Garcia had some nice blocking up in front of him. But then he's met by number nine for the Porter defense, makes a nice open field tackle, gets his hands all over. That was Jesus Rivera, gets his hands all over Garcia, brings him down. Well, we do have a quarterback change, ladies and gentlemen. Number 15 is now in, Zach Martinez, uh, for the South Hawks. As Sean Montemayor will take a break. Zach Martinez, the senior quarterback here, is going to hand off to Jaden Taylor. Jaden Taylor shakes, tries to shake a defender, not able to, gets tripped up. So he'll lose yardage on that run. It will bring up a second down and about 12 yards to go. That was a nice play by the junior, David Ramirez, number 96, for Porter gets some penetration gets his hand on Taylor and 96 is a big boy once he got his hands on Taylor Taylor was not going to be able to power out of his hands and he's able to bring him down and Zach Martinez the backup quarterback uh, who did get some starting action last year uh, when uh, Montemayor did go down so he's also a very good quarterback and so Zach Martinez number 15 is going to take the snap here he's looking right passes it to number one Isaac Garcia Isaac Garcia's got some space to run to the 45 Oh, and he just pushed out of bounds. I thought he was going to take that one for much longer. But it is a first down for the Hawks up to the 48-yard line. Well, the threat that the running game has had all night long, we've seen Taylor make some big plays. Even after the ball had been thrown, the defense had been so preoccupied with the interior run game that it took them a while to get on the outside. And so the receiver had some good time to go make a play. Gets the first down. First down and 10 for the Hawks. Now at the 48-yard line. And Martinez, Zach Martinez in the shotgun formation with Jaden Taylor. He'll hand it off to Taylor. Taylor bounces it to the outside. He's got some space to the 45. Tries to push off a defender. Is not able to. And uh, so he'll come down and we'll give him about five yards on the run. Second down and five. Well, now when we saw the left side of the offensive line, they pull and come around the right side. It looked like uh, some defenders were going to be able to make a tackle, but are met by those offensive linemen right at the right time. Taylor reads their blocking and makes a big play to the outside. Only broke one arm tackle before he's met by multiple defenders there for Porter. And Zach Martinez with Jaden Taylor alongside. Second and five. Nine minutes and 26 seconds left to go in the first half. He takes the snap. He's looking left. And he's going to throw left. He's got a receiver on the outside open. Oh, and it is just broken up by the cornerback. Number one for the Porter Cowboys, Angel Rodriguez. Just gets a hand in there, Jonathan. Disrupts the play. Or else that would have been possibly a touchdown. Well, it looked like he hadn't seen the ball coming. And then at the last second, he reacts to it. He almost makes the interception. Gets his hands on the ball. Um, but the receiver did make a nice little break on it. Quarterback just under threw it just a little bit. But it was almost a, another big play for Harms South. Good throw there by Zach Martinez. Number 15 has come in for Sean Montemayor, who looks to be taking a break right now. And so here we go. Third down, five yards to go. And Martinez awaiting the snap. He's going to throw it to his right again to number eight this time. He's going to have the first down. And uh, he bulldozes ahead. That's number eight, George Garcia. First down, Harlan and South Hawks. Well, again, I think the run game has been so successful tonight. There's not any real penetration going on. And then... Once the ball is thrown, all the players are coming from the tight inside. The receivers have a lot of space to run as there's only one corner and a safety coming from quite a ways away. So first down and 10 now on the 36-yard line. Zach Martinez, the quarterback. Three wide receivers. He'll hand it off to Taylor. Taylor right up the gut but breaks it to the outside. And uh, he will gain one, two, three yards on the carry. Second down will come up with about six yards to go, six, seven yards. Well, right there, Taylor did a nice job of being patient on the play. We see a big hole there initially, but he waits for his blockers. Um, there was one defender there in the hole. The defender is able to make the open field tackle. Uh, good play by the defender for Porter Cowboys. Second down, six yards to go, eight minutes and 16 seconds left to go in the first half. Zach Martinez, shotgun formation. And he will hand it off to Jaden Taylor. Jaden Taylor... 
will fall forward close to the first down marker. Depends on where this spot will be. It's looking just a little bit short right now from up here in the booth. And we do have a Porter Cowboy down on the field. Injury timeout by the officials. On that one we saw right there, they did the, the read play. Taylor runs it up, reading his blocks, and gets hit by a defender that was already being blocked. Uh, as Taylor had the momentum, it's able to bring him down. Uh, but it is short. We're going to see a third and short. I imagine Harlem South is going to put a run play up. Um, they've had a lot of success tonight running the ball. Third and short, I think they're going to continue to do it. Uh, we'd like to send a special thanks. We take this time to give a special thanks to our interim superintendent, Dr. Arturo Cavazos, and the rest of the school board members for making nights like this possible. It's a beautiful night here at the field, and we have our school board members to thank. It is homecoming, and I'd like to thank George McShan, who is our president, Javier De Leon, our vice president, Greg Powers, our secretary, and Dr. Nolan Perez, Verna Young, Jerry Floriet, and Dr. Cesar Maldonado. Third down, one yard to go. Seven minutes and 53 seconds left to go in this second quarter. Second quarter definitely moving quicker than the first. 37-0 for all of you listening there at valleycentral.com. And here we go. Zach Martin hands it off to Taylor. Taylor to the outside, 20 to the 15. And he will be tackled at the 13-yard line. Big gain by Jaden Taylor. First down and then some. Well, we did see... The defensive end coming up the field, he decides this, it's a replay, so he decides to cover the quarterback. Um, I think he should have played a little more aggressively and gone to Taylor. We haven't seen the quarterback keep it at any point tonight. And so Taylor goes, makes a nice run play off the left side. We have Taylor back, spread formation. The ball is snapped. Taylor gets the ball, runs down the middle. Nice blocking on the right side. He cuts left, gets tackled after about a seven-yard gain. I tell you what, that running by the Harlingen South Hawks has just allowed them to eat up some time here in the second quarter. Uh, they haven't gone for the big home run plays, uh, barring that one pass downfield. But just kind of eating up the clock here. They're gra grabbing up those first downs at will. Uh, Jaden Taylor doing a good job here for this Hawks offense. So here goes Zach Martinez now with a second down, three to go. Jaden Taylor, the lone running back in the backfield, waiting for a call from the sideline here. Eight seconds left to go on the play clock. Martinez rushes, waiting for the snap now, and he will hand it off to Taylor. Taylor's at the five, and this will be a touchdown for Taylor. Another touchdown for Jaden Taylor. Touchdown, Harlingen South Hawks. Make it a 43-0 ball game here, pinning the extra point. Well, wow, and there was a great clear-out block by the center or guard. I couldn't tell. It happened so fast. He grabbed that tackle that was right there in the hole, and he moved him about seven yards towards the sideline. Taylor had nothing but open field to run right there as the rest of the blockers occupied all the linebackers. And he easily walks in for the touchdown. Again, gets, he doesn't get met until he's already crossing the goal line. Um, great blocking tonight. And with a running back like Taylor, you want to meet him well before the goal line and if you're going to want to try to stop him. And the extra point is good. That'll make it a 44-0 to ball game. And I, if my count is correct, that is four touchdowns for Jaden Taylor tonight. His fourth touchdown, Jaden Taylor, the running back for Harland and South, has lit up that scoreboard tonight. And the other two touchdowns have come from number four, Nick Garcia. Uh, and so two for Garcia, four for Taylor, 44-0. to We are stuck now at 624 in the first half, 44-0. It has been a long night for the Porter Cowboys so far. It has been a long night on offense and on defense. They have both struggled. Um, the defense, you have to give them some credit. They have, given, they have only had to play against the Harden South offense on very short yardage for the most part. But Harden South's offense has scored no matter where they've been on the field tonight. Um, they haven't been able to stop them on offense. They haven't been able to get, generate anything on offense as well for themselves. It's been a long night for them. I would like to see some of these defensive ends playing a little more aggressively on the runner. We haven't seen the quarterback take it at any point in this game. Taylor's crushing. You said they had four touchdowns. I think the, the defense needs to focus in on Taylor and make sure that he's not the one that's going to beat you for the rest of this game. Well, you know, that may give a chance for Zach Martinez to air it out a little bit. I'm sure he's been anxious to get some passes downfield, so <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what the answer is uh, to stop this South Hawks defense for the Porter Cowboys. But either way, kickoff here, and the Cowboys are going to return this at the 20 to the 25. 
uh, and he'll be tackled by one, two, three, four, five, about six Hawk players there. And, uh, and so they'll call him down at about the 27-yard line as the Porter Cowboys will take over with six minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the second quarter. And uh, so far, this has been a runaway ball game for the Harlan and South Hawks. And yeah, they have been able to shut them out so far in this game. It's zero points up on the board for Porter. But I was reading some of what Coach Wilson said. He said at any point, it only takes one play to put some points on the board. So he makes sure his defense is always focused on each and every play. Coach Wilson has done an excellent job. This defense has been good last year. They've been good this year. Each and every game, they've only given up one touchdown all season long. Great coaching by Coach Wilson for this defense. Number 18, Alvarado is going to hand off to his running back. Number 20, number 20. Oh, he's got some space there. He's going to fall forward. Looks like he may have the first down. Uh, new running back in the ball game here, number 20. Sorry, do not have a name for him. But uh, he's a tough little runner there. And uh, looks like he's going to move the chains for the Porter Cowboys. They will call it a first down. Right there, we saw some nice interior blocking. And then a lot of arm tackling by Harden himself. We hadn't seen them play uh, with arm tackles. At that time, he was able to get through those arm tackles and make the first down. Good run there by number 20. Uh, first down for the Cowboys. They're now on the 37-yard line. Here we go. Hand off again to number 20. Uh, and this time, it will not be the same result as last one as he has stopped very short uh, on a short gain, gain of maybe half a yard. Yeah, right there we see he has to jump over a defender. And as soon as he lands, he doesn't have any forward momentum going. The linebacker hits him, meets him right as he lands. And so there's no momentum taking him. He gets pushed right back for only a one-yard game. Second down, nine yards to go. Just over five minutes and 18 seconds left to go in the first half. Alvarado takes the snap, hands it off to his running back, number 20. He tries to squeeze it back up inside, but he's going to be taken down with a gain of about two yards on the play. Going to bring up a third down and about six to go. Well, here we see two positive plays. They're, they're short plays. But this is going to be a third and seven. Um, we see this runner. He was only able to gain about a yard there, but he did make a couple of broken tackles. A little shifty runner. We don't have his name right now, but he's playing well so far on this drive. Third down for Alvarado on the offense. Four minutes and 40 seconds left to go in this first half. Again, for those of you listening live right now, ValleyCentral.com, it is 44 to 0. The Hawks lead the Cowboys. And here's the snap. He's going to look right to throw it this time. Oh, and into that. In and out of the hands of number 25 for the South Hawks, Malachi Rubio, uh, who wanted that interception bad and almost had it. Yeah, right there we see almost big mistake. Here we go. It's play action pass. Not the greatest fake, um, but had he been a little more patient, hit his receiver on the outside instead of trying to catch him while he was still inside, it could have been an easy first down, easy throw. A little bit of impatient play right there by the quarterback results in a fourth down, and Porter's going to have to punt the ball. Well, our roster here shows that number 18, Frank Alvarado, is a sophomore. And so, you know, for a sophomore quarterback, uh, we've seen some things tonight where he should have thrown outside instead of inside, should have thrown short instead of long. Uh, and so, you know, he'll get some good experience under him, and you'll be able to get a hold of that touch eventually. Uh, this time the punt here by the Porter Cowboys goes into the end zone. So now for sure, ladies and gentlemen, the, the South Hawks will have their longest uh, field to work with of the night. With just over four minutes left to go in this first half, again, it is 44-0. The Hawks have blanked the Porter Cowboys so far. Well, that last punt right there was quite a pretty punt. It traveled way into the air. Nice, high, long kick. Um, unfortunately, it's a touchback, so they get it back in the 20. But it went over 55 yards in the air. Um, really pretty punt right there. Unfortunately, the coverage team was not able to get there to down it with the four got into the end zone. We may have seen the last of Jaden Taylor as now number 20 is in. Uh, he's going to take it to the outside. He's up to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, to the 50. And he's got some room to run to the 30, the 25 almost yard line there. Number 20, that is Frank Quiroz, busts out a huge run. Here we see it. There's some nice initial blocking, and he cuts it left and shows his quickness. He gets right off the ball. Um, right here we see players grab their hands on him, but he uses – he's a small guy, but he powers through there, and then he's off to the races again before number five, Armando Pian, a sophomore, is able to catch him. 52-yard run for Frank Giros. Big run on the first touch of the night. Uh, for the running back, 
uh, Senior Quiroz. Here we go. Zach Martinez in the shotgun formation right alongside Quiroz. And Quiroz fake it to him. He completes the number one, Isaac Garcia. But, oh, the play is going to be called dead here. Uh, we're going to have a, looks like a false start on the Hawk offense. 52-yard run by Quiroz. What a, you know, your first touch of the night and you go 52 yards with it. I mean, that's pretty exciting right there. Yeah, I'm sure he's looking at coach saying, hey, give me the ball again. Right there, the ball gets thrown to the side. Receiver drops it. It looks like he had some possession, but he did drop it. And there was a false start anyways, so the play was going to be called dead. Um, but, wow, what a nice run. He's a small guy, and we saw him power through two defenders with their hands all over him. He just kept his feet pumping, and then we saw his speed and shiftiness as he broke to the edge. He almost was able to return it for a touchdown. First down, 15 to go, ball on the 33-yard line. Three minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the first half. Zach Martinez calling for the snap. He will hand off to Quiroz. Quiroz bounces up the middle, bounces to the outside, back to the middle again, and he's down to the 20 to the 16-yard line, it looks like. And uh, it looks like he will have the first down, Quiroz, another big run there on, on a long, long play from scrimmage. Well, these Harling South blockers are really holding on to their blocks. You know, there's some initial push, but what they're really doing great is these defenders are not escaping from the blocks. And then once, we, Skiros is a small guy, but he stays low to the ground, and those arm tackles aren't able to bring him down. He breaks another pair of arm tackles to get the first down. First down, 10 yards to go on the 17-yard line now. Zach Martinez, he, this time he'll throw it out to his receiver, number 25, it's an incomplete pass. Pass intended for number 25, Malachi Rubio. And those little, you know, they, they keep going to those little just short dump passes on the outside where they have a slot that just goes from slot position to the, to the flat there. And it uh, looks like the third, fourth, fifth time that, they, that Martinez has made that throw tonight. Yeah, the, the ball looked like it was thrown pretty well. The receiver just wasn't able to keep his hands on it. Um, they have executed that play very well, minus the last two times that they did it, the receiver dropped it. But before that, it had been a very nice play for Harlem South. Keep an eye out for Grant Preciado. He is a tall receiver. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to go to him on the fade. But right now, Quiroz gets it. He's going to break it to the 10-yard line, down to the 5. Uh, and Quiroz will have the first down on the carry, first down and then some, as they march down to the 5-yard line. Yeah, right there, it looked like it would have been a touchdown had senior Jesus Rivera not made the tackle. He gets his whole body on him, and Quiroz was not able to escape him. Uh, but again, some really nice blocking. He's not being met until he's about five yards past the line of scrimmage. First down, six yards to go. Ball on the six-yard line. And the Hawks here. Hand it off to Quiroz. Quiroz is going to easily get into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawks. And number 20, Frank Quiroz. Six-yard run for yet another Hawk touchdown. Here we see it again. Nice blocking, two pulling linemen. And just like Taylor, we've seen him before, he's not getting met by any defenders until he's touching the goal line. Porter, backside safety help. They need to come up when they see the runner take the ball because they, ha they have been meeting the runners each time at the goal line. They need to meet them closer to the line of scrimmage. 50-0 to zero is the score from Bogus Stadium on this homecoming night for the Hollands and South Hawks. Waiting the point after, and it is good, 51-0. to zero. Harlins and South Hawks go ahead of the Brownsville Porter Cowboys. Just over two minutes left to go in the first half as the Hawks have amassed a whopping 51 points against this Porter Cowboy football team. Well, what Harlem South has been doing really great is they've been maintaining their blocks all night long. We saw Taylor running, and he's only really having to break one tackle. And then we see the backup running back come in. He comes in. What they're doing is they're bringing one lineman pulling each time, and they have their slot kind of receiver. He's lined up real tight along the edge, almost like a, an off tight end, and he's also pull, pulling himself in. The blocks aren't, are being made, and he's able to – break the play each time he's not he's only having to break a tackle after he gains about five yards and these running backs from Harlem South have been able to break that tackle and then they gain themselves another four or five yards definitely textbook running game tonight by the Harlem and South Hawks and early on when Montemayor was in the game you know they would run they would gain they would gain and then all of a sudden they'd bust him with a big old pass you know and down the middle uh, to Nick Garcia two touchdowns for him 
Uh, and so, you know, when you have a balance like that, it's very difficult to defend against. So here we go. The Hawks are going to kick off yet again. The kickoff guy, Gavado, number 83, has gotten plenty of work tonight. Here we go. Uh, Porter Kawa is number seven. He's going to bring it out. That's David Pacheco. Uh, but he'll be tripped up at the 21-yard line. And the Porter Cowboys will have the ball back here with two minutes, one second left to go in the first half. Again, for those of you all listening live, 51-0. A live audio right now during this ball game. You can check back uh, an hour or so after the ball game uh, to watch the audio along with the video. UIL does not permit us to show the video live on a Friday night football game. So thank you for listening live wherever you are. Uh, this ValleyCentral.com along with the HSD KHGN. Uh, team that is bringing this broadcast live from Bogus Stadium. Well, here we see Alvarado and the offense coming out. Alvarado is only a sophomore, but we need to see him grow up tonight. The poor offense needs to start making some plays. Um, this game is looking like it's going to be well out of hand pretty soon. And the handoff here to the running back, and the running back will have nowhere to go. And uh, the officials are marching backwards, so this will be a loss of yardage on the, uh, the first run of this series for the Porter Cowboys. Well, the clock is winding down. One minute, 40 seconds left on the clock. Second and 10. Um, looks like this may be the last drive, or it looks like Porter's going to hope that it's the last drive as yeah. they have the ball in their side of the end, in their side on the 20-yard line. Oh, and this time it looks like they will have a free play as the Harlingen South Hawk defenders cross the line of scrimmage at the time of snap. Alvarado scrambling, looking, and it is tip drill. Oh, and almost into the hands of a Porter receiver. Uh, which would have come out to be a great gain for them, but uh, incomplete pass is going to be called off anyway as there was a defender in the uh, over the line of scrimmage there at the snap. Well, it looked like Alvarado wanted to go to the left side, um, but the, his offensive players on the left side didn't react to the ball being snapped, and so he has to break a tackle. He runs right. Almost was a really pretty play um, as he extended the play, broke a tackle, and then almost got lucky with the tip. Um, but unfortunately, Porter is not able to convert. But they do get five yards out of the play because it was a penalty on the Harden South Hawks. So second down, five yards to go. Ball is on the 26-yard line. Alvarado lines up in shotgun formation. I'll hand it off to his running back who almost bobbles it there at the beginning. This time it's number 11. A flag on the play. We're waiting to see what that is. If the flag is not against Porter, that will be enough for a first down. I'm almost going to guarantee it. it is a hold. I was looking at the receiver, and I was about to start bragging on him for maintaining the block, but as the Harness South defender started to separate, I did see the jersey get tugged a little bit, and here we see the call is against Porter. Uh, that would have been a first down run for Porter uh, by the running back number 11, but it's going to be called back now. Uh, repeat second down here, and uh, the Porter Cowboys are marching backwards. Uh, and unfortunately, that has been, become a regular occurrence for this offense here in this first half. So Alvarado is going to line up one minute and two seconds, and the time is winding down. Second down, 12 to go, ball on the 19-yard line. We're now under one minute of play. Alvarado will take the snap. He hands it off to his running back, number 20, right up the gut. And he'll go forward for about four yards and bring up a third down. We see a positive play here. Able to gain some nice yards. It'll be third, and I would say a long seven yards. Um, but let's see. I'm not sure if Coach is going to call a timeout. He's not going to be calling a timeout. He's going to let the clock roll a little bit. Um, this will probably be the last play of this half. Third down and eight. Alvarado is going to hand it off to number 20. Number 20 is going to try to cut it up the middle, but there's nowhere to run. And uh, like Jonathan said, that will be the last play of the first half. Folks, listening live, 51-0. to zero. Harlan and South will go into the locker room 51 points ahead of the Brownsville Porter Cowboys. I do not know what to expect in the second half. Hopefully, uh, the Cowboys are able to come up with something that can stall out that offense of the Hawks. Uh, if not, this promises to be yet a longer night uh, for the Porter Cowboys. Well... They do need to find an answer to stop the run game. Um, we have only seen, once the new quarterback came in, we haven't seen them be able to put some points on the board through the air or really gain any positive yards in the air deep. So I would say this Porter defense needs to react to the run and get in there. But I'd like to also see the Porter offense take some chances. They've played it very safe, 
the point, it's 51-0. I think it's time to stop playing safe and, and really try to get after them. Well, that'll be all here from us. In the first half, we will be back shortly uh, after halftime festivities here at Bogus Stadium. We will see you in the second half, Hawks versus Cowboys.